In this example, we're asked to complete the table using the graph. So we have our function graphed here, and in the table we have our x-coordinates and our y-coordinates. Remember that x-coordinates are the horizontal movement away from the origin, so left or right, and the y-coordinates are vertical movements away from the origin, up or down. In this first row, we're given a y-coordinate of 0. So starting at the origin, we want to move 0 spaces up or down. So we want to look along this axis for where the function crosses. Right here is where the function crosses. So we want to know the horizontal movement because we're looking for that x-coordinate. So we move 1, 2 spaces to the right. Since it's to the right, we know that it's positive, so a positive 2. In the second row, we're given the x-coordinate, and we're asked to find the y-coordinate. So we know that we want to move four spaces to the right because it's positive. One, two, three, four. We want to look along this line for where the function crosses, right here. So from the axis, that is one, two, three spaces down, so in negative, three. In this last row, we're given the y-coordinate, and we're asked to find the x-coordinate. So starting at the origin, we're going to move six spaces down because it's negative. One, two, three, four, five, six. So somewhere along this line, we want to find where the function crosses, which would be right here. So our horizontal movement away from the axis would be one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. And it's to the right, so that's going to be a positive six. And that should complete your table.